reviews. Well, the 35XX Plus has new firmware, and we're going to test it out. Wah! So your first step is you go to the YouTube, you go to the Google Drive link, and you download. The smallest one is 1.4 gigabytes, and it might take a minute. They also have one with ROMs, which I wouldn't recommend downloading because it's huge and also kind of illegal. Once you get the file, you just extract it somewhere. It might take a while. So it was taking forever to unzip this, and I figured out why. It's because the image file is 60 gigabytes. All right, now that we have this ridiculously large image file extracted, we're going to open up Elena Etcher. We're going to find the image, select that, and we're going to select the target, which is the E drive, which is my only SD card. Here's where you want to be careful you don't delete part of your hard drive. Flash! Now it's going to take 20 minutes, even though you're flashing a bunch of empty stuff, which aggravating. Aggravating. It took a while to burn, but what's upsetting, if you look at the properties, it's not even a gigabyte. So they gave you a 60 gigabyte image for less than a gigabyte of files, but whatever. I copied my save states back in, and we're going to put it back into the 35XX. All right, so we have our newly flashed card. I'm going to put that in there. So I got my ROM card just in case. Put that back in helps you put it in the right way and let's turn her on moment of truth what do we got all right it's not broken ah gotta turn that off off hey it's on off instead of open clear that's nice Neat. You see we're on firmware version RG35XXP 2023-12.8. Wow. Up to date. So what all do we get out of this firmware update? First off, you fix known issues. I don't know what the issues are, but you fix them. We've added the ability to add a PSP joystick and D-pad switching function. So while you're playing a PSP game, you press R2 and it turns this into a joystick or the D-pad vice versa. In a similar way, when you're playing Nintendo DS games, you can press the power button, and that'll make your D-pad turn into a little stylus, so you can do touch stuff. I still wouldn't play touch-heavy DS games on here, because what's the point? No touch screen. They've added three new emulators. We have uh, Sega CD, TurboGrafx CD, and PGM2. I don't know what PGM2 is, but it's there. Search function has been upgraded. The power light gets turned off during sleep mode now, and they've modified the game's preview image size. I don't know what that means either, so let's just experiment. Oh, look, if I'm pressing the D-pad now, nothing's happening. But if I press R2, it turns this into the joypad. Now, I guess certain games where you need the joypad, this is helpful. But uh, for me, boy, I tell you what, I wouldn't really use this for PSP if I didn't have to just because of the size of the screen. So that works. Press the power button. And oh, now the stylus works. Then you press the power button again, and we're good. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Quiet you, Hajime. So the two main things I wanted to test, the joystick and the NDS stylus, that works flawlessly. By its own nature, this is going to be a short video, so I just have a couple follow-up things that I wanted to mention. One, the image file was way too big. Like... It was 1.4 gigabytes zipped, and then when I unzipped it, it took up 60 gigs of storage on my computer. And then it took forever to mount the image, but once the image was flashed onto the SD card, it was what, like 700 megabytes of space? Just give me a zip file that has those changes. I shouldn't have to reflash the card. It's just kind of pointless. And the fact that it was so small, but it wasn't optimized, and it took up all the space on the card. Like, come on. Also, this has Wi-Fi, which is kind of a big gripe right now. Because why didn't you just do an over-the-air update? I think that would have been a lot easier. So, I appreciate the firmware update. There might be some people out there that were like, Oh, wow, I want to play DS on here, but I need a stylus. Hey, you're set. You can also play Snatcher on here now, because Sega CD has an emulator. But So, unless you were looking for Sega CD or TurboGrafx-16, or these little fixes for the PSP, I would honestly say wait. Wait till the next firmware update. Wait until maybe they have an over-the-air update. On one hand, I'm glad Ambernick gave us firmware, but on the other hand, I just don't like how it was implemented. So, if you have a 33XX Plus and you want to update it, go ahead to the link in the description. 
Otherwise, stay tuned. We have a full video coming out soon. Wanted to get this out. People are asking questions about the firmware, how to do it, what it does, all that jazz. Now you know. So stay tuned. Ace will have his full video out in the next couple of days. And then we will have more continuing coverage on the 35XX+. Plus. Take care, everybody.